This website suggests that the mind uses a repetitive routine to extract logical answers from its massive neural memories. It is a pattern recognition routine, which logically recognizes coded nerve cell firing patterns. The discovery that nerve cells recognize combinatorial firing codes won a Nobel Prize in 2004. Such codes were reported to enable the olfactory system to spot a single smell from its memories for thousands of smells. Intuition makes an animal sense danger in the patterns of moving leaves and scurrying shadows. It makes the animal feel fear and makes it run away. Intuition enables nerve cells to swiftly recognize, interpret and act. Intuition powers every intelligent animal response. Any explanation of the mind demands a hypothesis of the scale and power of human memory. A massive level of coded wisdom is known to power the miracle of life. If the DNA codes in the human body were written into 500-page books, those tomes will fill the Grand Canyon 50 times over. For human memory, combinatorial codes can delineate a virtually infinite number of finely differentiated details. Only with support from the massive memories enabled by such coding can the nervous system generate the brilliance of the human mind. Your brain stores memories of evolutionary experiences from millions of years. It stores the sights, sounds and experiences of a lifetime. It stores the memories of thousands of habitual activities. From this galactic store, your brain recalls just the image of a school picnic, or the complex hand movements of your signature, the same moment you think about it. Your intuition is this process, which assists you in all of the activities of your life. Intuition uses logic to retrieve data. Traditionally, logic follows either deductive or inductive paths. All men are mortal. Socrates is a man. Therefore Socrates is mortal. That is deductive reasoning, where an accepted principle is used to draw a conclusion. In inductive reasoning, a number of established facts are used to draw a conclusion. Over centuries, all observed elephants are gray. So, elephants are gray. An inductive argument, however, is never final and is open to being falsified. The discovery of a pink elephant will falsify the gray elephant theory. Both science and intuition use inductive logic. Traditionally, inductive reasoning uses the principle of inclusion. The gray elephant theory is a result of experience over time. If we see a gray animal, we will confine our search to a list of gray animals. Intuition uses the principle of exclusion. If the animal is pink, elephants are excluded from the search. Subsequent discovery of a pink elephant will make this induction wrong. But, if the reasoning that all elephants are gray is true, then the induction that a pink animal is not an elephant is equally true. Nerve cells become inhibited if they fail to recognize a pattern. If the back of your hand is touched with a felt tip, neural activity takes place in the related touch sensory region of your cortex. Particular neurons begin to fire to indicate the sensory information. You will feel the touch. In the process, the surrounding neurons will become inhibited. This inhibition is strongest for those immediately adjacent to the excited neurons. Throughout the nervous system there are neural circuits which switch off other circuits when their own areas are energized. This phenomenon reveals the secret of intuition. Intuition highlights messages by inhibiting information from non-contextual sources. Eliminating all unrecognized categories from a list is a quick way to focus the list on the answer. Neurons in the olfactory system store the inherited combinatorial codes of myriad smells. Over a lifetime, an animal adds millions more differentiated odors and codes. All cells in the system which fail to recognize the code of an encountered odor shut down. The active cells fire strongly to indicate the identified smell.
It is a routine, which searches a massive database in the blink of an eye. When you speak, an inhibition process swiftly combs your entire vocabulary, eliminating every unrecognized relationship to your idea. If it is furry, it is not an elephant. If it is gray, it is not a rabbit. If you are looking at a gray or furry thing, it is not this page. If there are 100 cars, it is not your garage. Intuition eliminates a galaxy of possibilities to accurately use each word, even as you speak. Scientific searches seek an exact match to identify a complex pattern. Back and forth searches grow exponentially as the search space expands. For science, it is impossible to search for subtle overlapping patterns in large spaces. So they never imagined it would be possible to swiftly and instantly search the mass of data in the mind. Science continues to follow the theory that the mind is a computational device. But, the mind recognizes patterns, using intuition. As someone said, when a tiger bounds towards you, what should your response be? Should you file your toenails? Do a cartwheel? Sing a song? Is this the moment to run an uncountable number of randomly generated response possibilities through the decision rule? Inhibition works to eliminate alternatives for every decision of the nervous system. Animals cannot afford to freeze into immobility, unable to decide between chewing grass and drinking water. Intelligent action pivotal for survival, mandates a swift logic, which ceaselessly narrows possibilities down to a single answer. Nature's logic evaluates myriad known possibilities to choose one option for action. If the choice is to chew grass, the drive to quench thirst is instantly inhibited. Inhibition delivers swift answers. Inhibition of weaker signals eliminates even less active possibilities. This image is interpreted by your mind as either two faces facing each other, or as a vase. Logically, it is both two faces and a vase. Your system inhibits one idea to identify the other. Intuition may not always deliver logical answers. All nerve cells are known to be active in all regions of the brain, even when they do not appear to be actually participating. If a nerve cell is but a single entity in a multi-billion processor system, why is it active when it does not need to process any data? Such activity is vital for the global evaluation of the mind. Even a spreadsheet follows the same routine. Any change in one cell is reflected in all the cells, even if there are a million cells. This is because entries in all cells of a spreadsheet are recalculated for each new input. With its ability to do millions of calculations a second, simultaneous recalculations enables the user to see the global impact of any change. Similarly, each one of billions of cells is tirelessly alert to events in the system, recalculating its inputs in the context of its own inherited and acquired memories. Intuition finds answers from even slivers of data. For a militant hiding in a cellar, the movement of a few hairs could indicate a current of cold air from a stealthily open door. That is a vital message, which will inhibit every other sensory input. Instant elimination of possibilities from a database of cosmic proportions would trigger his immediate recognition of danger. Unexpected meanings are derived for a soft whisper or a shifting shadow. With access to vast data, Intuitive recognition needs imperceptibly small slivers of information to enable recognition. Intuition and combinatorial coding power elemental neural building blocks. Each one is a functional region, which recognize combinatorial inputs to trigger combinatorial responses. The association regions recognize sensory inputs as objects and events. Typically, the olfactory region evaluates air molecules and sends signals, indicating recognition of the smell of a predator. On recognition, internal control systems inhibit irrelevant systems and focus motor responses within milliseconds. Running from danger typically manages the movement of 60,000 muscles, 
inhibiting opposing actions 10,000 times a second. Focus shifts instantly between the hierarchy of control regions in the nervous system. A reptilian brain focuses on basic animal activity. At the next level, a mammalian brain manipulates feeling emotion controls, which trigger focused behavioral responses. At the highest level, the prefrontal regions switch to purely rational behaviors. Unfortunately, context is provided to the system by emotions. From the vast knowledge available to your mind, intuition eliminates all out-of-context items. So, intuition eliminates all data linked to conflicting emotions to focus the mind on a single strategy. If you are angry, it eliminates all positive views of your opponent. You have no awareness of such elimination. For you, the reduced list of possibilities is the truth. So, emotional decisions ignore important data and become irrational. Because of this emotional weakness of intuitive wisdom, science has founded its vast structures purely on clearly defined reasons. Your creativity can tap the immense knowledge available to you, stored as coded answers from myriad evolutionary and real-life experiences. With global access, the system swiftly evaluates trillions of pages of that wisdom to locate competent answers. But, to win, you need to be aware that you are so equipped. That self-assurance is crucial. The eliminative search process wisely discards impossible solutions from its search. If you feel it is impossible, you will not think of it. Confidence can prevent many winning solutions from being so excluded. Confidence is the key to creative thought. Listening to your mind with positive expectations enables your intuition to deliver the wisdom of your mind. The structures of science are built on definitions and reasoning chains. But, intuition is incomparably superior to reasoning chains for pattern recognition. So many things known to scientists can never be explained through reason. Analytical logic cannot assess a great painting, or comprehend passionate poetry. It cannot identify between charm and dignity, or contempt and enmity. Scientific knowledge is a mere subset of what is known to intuitive wisdom. Intuition can be just as often wrong as scientific reasoning. But it girdles a wider horizon and is an incredibly powerful weapon for coping with the environment. Ultimately, it is their intuition, which enables scientists to build reasoning chains. Thank you for watching.